You, you, you're a man who, who very easily sort of straddles the, the, uh, the, the, the continent, the, particularly if, um, you live in France, don't you now, and come over here a lot. We, of course, are entering into this momentous phase, as they say, the politicians say in our history, the common market and this sort of thing. The problem is, of course, that we don't like the French, do we, very much, and they don't like us. Well, yeah, but you've been such old enemies for so long, I can afford to put on my Russian mantle for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was an awkward moment. Detached outsider. Yes, that I think there's really no alternative but friendship now. Um, I'm very pro-European because I'm really, uh, owing to the innumerable indiscretions of my ancestors, uh, there's no other way for me. Because when I see national minorities getting het up, they're still majorities for me because <laughs> with an Ethiopian grandmother and uh, French and Italians and Russians and Germans and all sorts of people all over the place, how can I avoid it? And I think that Europe is an inevitable thing because I think we have to decide now whether we're going to be one player or eight tennis balls. <laughs> and uh, especially I feel that it's being speeded up uh, far, more quickly than one could have dreamt of, even the more, most pro-European, speeded up by the strange feeling of, uh, of collusion that exists between the superpowers at the moment, uh, which doesn't make me feel very easy. Hmm. Would you favour a more leisured approach, would you? To what? To joy to the, the whole thing happening. No, no, I'm very much in favour of it, simply because I think that if two raindrops are going to join on a train window, they're going to join. There's mm. no way of keeping them apart. Mm. And Britain uh, always regarded the United States as a kind of uh, <laughs> a young nephew who's doing awfully well. <laughs> uh, but in point of fact, it's, uh, it's not that at all. We've been misled by the fact that we happen to use the same language. But the American society has been formed by many disparate elements. It's been, it's been influenced by Swedish and German architecture in their villages uh, and by all sorts of different foods which are not ours necessarily.